to the channel, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Bobiddle. Folks, that is not Bobiddle. That is Daryl Waltrip, Buick, GMC, Honda, Subaru. And they also have an off-road center. And that's where we are today. Their info is on the bottom of the screen. Check their website out. They've got a slew of trucks. I'm just going to do the quick pan around. A slew of trucks that are here ready to be modified by you. Now what these guys do is they bring in some used trucks and they begin the process of modification. This one has a little mods, nothing crazy, but you can go full tilt if you want wheels, suspension, all that stuff. You can get all of that under your car payment. So you don't have to go out after you buy your car and spend 15 or 20 grand. You can put it all under the car payment. That's what the off-road center is here to do. Y'all be sure to hit them up. All right, moving on. What are we looking at, folks? It looks like an F-150, and, and it is. It's definitely an F-150, uh, but it's the Ford Lightning F-150, which means there is no engine underneath that hood. This is an all-electric vehicle, folks, and yes, I know, it's a pickup truck. doesn't really make all the sense, but, you know, Ford wanted to bring it. This thing's got, was it, 560-something horsepower, something of that nature, so basically, it's got big power. It is actually fast and fun, and it's a truck. So that's, in my mind, I like that. I'm, I'm a big fan of that. So again, a 2022 Ford Lightning. Let's do what we normally do and start in the trunk or rear of the vehicle. And this has both. So the trunk is up front. And you just saw that it popped open, and then boom. It opens itself all the way and there it is a bunch of extra stores now there's your charger for your house it will probably take a week to get it charged but there it is um, one of the cool things about this truck is it has a hilarious amount of ways to power your vehicle or your tools so again big huge storage area i don't even have to use the zoom out but i will ton of space up front really honestly amazing really big fan of it how much room is in there now I believe yep that button will close it on down you have to kind of stand back or it'll stop and uh, I really love the the lighting you can't really see because of how bright it is we're facing the Sun but this whole bar lights up all the way across really kind of cool uh, and I like this grill it's you know you don't have to have any air passing through so it looks really cool if you ask if you ask me so, all right, well, now we'll go to the rear of the vehicle where we usually start. This has the normal six foot bed, I believe, and plenty of cool things. Push button open for this as well. And then as you kind of see, it does look, it's even got measuring tools over here for your fishermen, or I guess, you know, if you're trying to measure wood and stuff. Plenty of tie downs and stuff in this thing. Uh, and then again, with the amazing amount of power, you know, you can go all the way up to, it looks like 240. Uh, and plus all this extra power, all the cool tie downs all the way around. You kind of see really well appointed vehicle. Press this model, little mabobber, and there comes your step. And this thing comes out as your handle. So there it is. That was very user friendly. I have never tried to do that before on this vehicle and it was easy. So now, press the number two, push that in, and then the sucker should slide right out. Very exciting. Not a very heavy bed, which is good. Makes life easier for the picking upping. Uh, before we go inside, I just wanted to point out that they did add these 22 inch wheels on here along with some Nitto, I think they're Ridge Grappler tires. Really, really nice set of wheels. Really nice running board here. It sticks out just a little bit, but not enough to bash your shin, which I tend to have problems with. As we make our way into the interior, you can see it's kind of got a denim -y, I guess that is denim, denim -y interior. Nice stitching. Really nice padding here. Hilarious amount of storage across the back here and here. Uh, luckily, that is a pass-through. 
So don't put your cell phone in there, or it's just gonna fall right there. But hey, there's a place for it to fall. Uh, I'm gonna move this seat back. One thing to make clear to y'all, this thing's running. I know we've got a lot of extra noise going on in our background, but this truck is absolutely silent in the moment. And uh, yeah, I, I love it. Again, we're gonna check our kind of denim -y stuff, nice and spongy, a ton of storage, storage, even more storage here. It's got the Bang & Olufsen stereo, which is awesome. Uh, plenty of room out here in the back as well. We've got one seat up and one seat down. And now both seats are up. Just got a quick little pull strap here. Pull it and yank just a little bit and it falls down. Really, honestly, one of the easiest folding actions in the trucking game, folks. I am here for which to tell you. Uh, I guess I'll just climb in the back here, point some things out and get this front door closed. One thing I don't know if you can tell, it's got some blue specks in the paint. Can y'all see that? It's really cool that it's got blue specks in the paint, blue metallic pieces. Well, we've made our way into the rear of the vehicle. We'll just kind of do a little show around. We got some power and such down here, nice air vents and cup holders as well. Um, we've got a armrest, which it, you know works good. Not much of a slouching moment here, which is good. Big fan of no slouchy slouchy. Uh, again, the vehicle is on. Got your huge center stack. I think my only complaint with that center stack or just this setup is that they didn't really give you, you know, the buttons. And when I say the buttons, I'm really just kind of referencing like the aircon buttons. You actually have to press a couple things there to get your aircon to come up. Which nowadays I feel like you should still have buttons for your aircon. It just makes things a lot easier. Um, they don't have it for this. You can see it has it for the defroster, and that's it. <laughs> very interesting. Um, but very, very spacious in here. I haven't even zoomed out yet. There we go. Very, very spacious in here. Ton of extra room and storage. Uh, we'll just kind of meander through here. As you can see, you got storage in there, and I believe there's a wireless charging pad. That's that little docking area there. Uh, you got a couple, another little good spots to put your cell phone like that. More cup holders there. And then, if I can get it open, we've got a nice storage area here in this little mabobber. If I can reach it comes out the way and you can see it goes way way down inside of that so plenty of storage and there's a, a glove box and I believe there's uh, yeah there's a glove box right there where the glove boxes normally are uh, yeah good story Ben all right let's go up front we'll play a little bit with this electronic gizmo that is the main entertainment for you in the vehicle Straight up close the door on my foot uh, before we go to that I will show you it does have a slew of buttons and things you can do you can bring your mirrors in looks like you can open the trunk and drop the bed from in here all the fun stuff uh, you can move the pedal you see that button right there yeah you can move the pedals away or towards you which is nice for them shorter folks here's the thing I was talking about like if you want to hit the fan it is nice action, uh, it does work well, um, but I shouldn't have to do the extra clips, I guess, in my mind, to just get the fan going. But, you know, I digress. Um, nice, huge map. I mean, this if y'all haven't hopped in any of these new vehicles, the majority of them seem to have this crazy interface, whether it's straight up and down or side to side. Uh, I kinda like the straight up and down. Everybody is putting them side to side. I kind of like it like that. Uh, this does have its first digital screen. I know they put it here first and then they finally brought it out for the regular uh, other Ford products or Ford uh, truck products. Um, but yeah, a, you know, really clean vehicle, a, a truck. It sounds good as far as the stereo. It bumps in here. I'm a big fan of the stereo. Um, you know, everything about this thing is nice. You know, all the way down to this wood grain that's in here feels good, looks good. Just a nice truck and it's electric so you can you know act like you care about the environment even though you're driving a truck <laughs> which seemingly I don't know how y'all feel about electric vehicles 
I understand that they are the future, but I also understand that this thing probably took as much as that thing, which is a brand new uh, car truck we shot recently. Yes, I'm pretty sure these are just as hard to make and just because this doesn't have an engine doesn't mean that it's any better than that thing. Um, again, I understand electric is the future, but you know, understand this is a cool truck. It's really definitely more for the enthusiast, I feel like, uh, than it is for someone who's actually going to use this on a regular basis as the work truck. But, you know, people do what they want to do. I, I know a ton of people that drive trucks that don't utilize them at all. They just like driving trucks. So, like, this is another one for you to check out uh, and consider. And it's fast. It, that's the other thing. It's the fastest F-150 uh, on the market. I know they brought out the, the Raptor R and that thing's fast, but I think I'm almost sure that this thing will get it zero to 60. Y'all can correct me in the comments, but anyways, well, it's been, uh, I've been trying to find one of these to shoot. Finally got the opportunity and the opportunity came to us because of our friends at the Waltrip Off-Road Center down here just off of Highway 96. That's Interstate 65 right there. This is Highway 96 in the Franklin area so y'all stop in the rest of their dealers just down the block here a couple little bit uh, but this is the off-road center and they're perched up here right next to the interstate for you to come in here and again I'll repeat myself if you see one of these vehicles and you're like yeah I like that truck but I'd rather have some nicer wheels on it and I want it to be lifted that is what that's what this place is here for they want you to come in and buy that want that stuff they'll get it put on for you they'll make it all one payment so you don't have to come up with that extra money after you buy your expensive truck so hit them up again their information excuse me has been on the bottom of the screen for my man bo biddle who oh, let's steal that walter sign i am ben barber we will see you in the next video